Okay guys, so quick video here. Well, I hope it's a quick video and I am going to try and install these um, wheels that I make that they are called the void wheels. They are low center of gravity. Uh, I'll put the specs on the video of what is the maximum diameter of the weight inside and the width even though the width you have to consider that you have to put the weight inside so it's hard to use the maximum width anyway a uh, conventional tungsten slug uh, mounts here pretty well without any issues as long as you have the spacing correct shouldn't be an issue so these wheels they are meant to be used with or at least they were designed to be used with crawler innovations 5.5 uh, .5 or 6.0 um, foams now um, this is a medium normally I use soft on all of my rigs actually front and rear and I only use this style of wheels in the front but anyway let's try and mount these they are a bit harder on a wheel um, just as a reference like I told you I use normally soft and I also use one of those what a lot of people say useless tuning rings but I tried with and without and with this style of wheels with the soft foam I prefer with with the tuning rings so it has a bit more cushion Anyway, for this demonstration, I will not use this. So, what do we need? We need the wheels. The wheels come with this. So, this is the setup of the wheel. You need the out of foam. This one is crawler innovations or something else that you have. And you need two, and here I just have one, two of these, maybe eight millimeters wide. I cut this with a exacto knife. Uh, as you can see from the rough cut this is an old foam that is just falling apart this is quite old and I tried to cut 8 millimeters to 10 millimeters wide ring and this would need to be enlarged actually uh, I'm just showing you where to use this I'm not actually going to install uh, where and why to use this and I'll show you why in a second so for this demonstration we are going to use a bit of a unicorn silver voodoo's brand new yes this is my last set unfortunately so first of all put the foam inside and then trying to make this relatively fast make it uniform side to side and all the way around which i mean is not perfect you when you'll be doing this you just take your time Oop. um sorry you just take your time now the wheels come like this pre-mounted and you s this is going to be the wheel face obviously so when there's a pattern you choose whichever way you want and this is a bit of a stretch for the tire but it's doable Whoop. Come on. like a glove and then of course you have to center the wheel let's see if there's some light here you have to center the wheel or, or the this inside part of the wheel actually of the rim yes rim tire wheel is the packet right 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 always learning you have to center this on the foam and then that's why you need this like I don't like if you don't use this you just have the foam here and here is nothing it's just the 3d printed part in this case or the g10 part and this is not good I don't advise this at all 
you need to have a bit of foam here. So this foam, all that it does, it, it can be even smaller than this. You know, just use the original foams from uh, 1.9 or 2.2 tires or whatever. And you just have to cut this a little bit wider here and maybe even a bit shorter than this because you need to fill up the void between the foam that is already here and this space. So then you just shove this in and make it as centered as possible. One here and of course one here. So um, the thing about these wheels is that they are bedlock on the outside but glue on on the inside. So on the inside you don't need anything else once you put this thing on the inside you just have you just put a little bit of glue here and you just start gluing the tire like this around around honestly I don't you don't need to glue 100% of the bedlock you just put a dab of glue and you glue it then you walk a little bit more a dab of glue and you glue it because if or when you want to unmount it is much easier then if you just put a continuous glue um, a glue line all around it will be hard to take out so once you glue this this side is done you know so again put this inside glue it uh, you might leave this to last if you want, but or or not, it doesn't really matter. So this part is glue on. Now to make the bed lock, you have these 3D printed plastic rings. There are two two versions actually. So each each wheel comes with four rings like this, uh, uh, with two pairs. So these ones, I don't know if it the camera can pick up but it has uh, like a chamfer to it so these rings are specific for Proline Ibex tires because they have that funky bedlock which is horrible in my opinion but you know it's there so these are, this is specific for that set of tires so we are not going to use this one on the Voodoo's this one goes back in the bag they will be labeled. I still have to label these. So then you have this ring, which is for the other manufacturers of tires, which are normal, unlike Proline. And you just put it inside. And then you see like this part here has to go inside. And you have to center it, center it as best as you can. Do, do, do. Okay, now you need a wheel hub because as you can see there are no bolts so you need a wheel hub you need to make sure again that that plastic is centered that these holes are all centered let's see And then like this should be fine. What I normally do, I use a bigger bolt to line everything up. Let's see where it is. Yeah, so this will start to make some tension on the ring. So you can put two of these. So these longer bolts, they will be creating the tension. And then, for example, here I have eight millimeters bolts or six millimeters bolts and once you get these they go in okay 
then you can tie it all the way and you put the other ones the other ones and you see what I'm doing these are not and then you can remove the long bolts that you use just to get it started and replace replace by the smaller bolts being six millimeters or eight millimeters or whatever you want to run so then you you know you just have to tighten all the way down until it's set that's it then you see these holes you can put the smaller bolts so it's a proper bedlock and this part will be glue on so if you want to remove the outer foam you can still do it it's a pain in the ass granted but it's doable I've done it it's possible uh, so actually, I'm, I'm exemplifying on this side, but actually what you will do, this part will be glued on, you will remove all these bolts, remove the wheel face, and then change the foam, in the outer foam, put back this, the small foam cookie, and yeah, mount it back up. So, advantage of this wheel, in my opinion, if I can say so myself. It's quite simple, it's quite light, no extra bolts around, all that jazz. Um, but this, for example, if you run an axial and you have this style of hubs or any wheel that needs this kind of hubs, it's not a problem, you just have the center bolt, you just take out the center bolt and they will all be with the bedlock. If you have to unmount in a way uh, for example, I don't use this style of wheels, so I my hubs, I need to take out these bolts here around. So every time that I do that, I lose the bedlock, let's say. But what I do is just, I put a small um, screw, a screw here with a nut on the back, actually two of them, uh, opposite sides, and they just hold this pressure, and that's all you need. So. You just need a, a pair of bolts and nuts and tighten it a little bit and that's it. So it's it's quite nice. I've been running these wheels for almost two years. No failures, nothing broke um, and I never lost the bedlock. And it was the easiest way to mount Proline tires uh, of all, all of them. So yeah. Hope you like it. If you want some of these, uh, get in touch and I'll get them to you. Um, cheers. Take care. Bye bye.